video for you guys and tonight's video we're gonna be adventurous um, this is sort of a part two of a video I did if you remember my pie soda video kind of inspired me to find different soda flavors more unique ones and boy did I find them we're going to be trying uh, I don't like to yuck people's yum but we're gonna be trying nasty ass sodas from Lester's Vixens um, Lester is a terrible name up there with like Smelvin um, I'm sorry if those are like you know family names for you or something um, but maybe it's time to get a better tradition you would like to see me try various flavors of soda then just keep watching so I'm aware the first flavor I showed off was ranch dressing but I really don't want to start off the video with the big dogs so we're gonna start with something more you know innocent inconspicuous we're gonna try sweet corn soda I mean it's it's corn um how bad can it be so let's open our it's opened up I'm gonna do the sniff test oh that's weird oh it smells like buttered corn that's kind of neat, but also terrifying. Um, let's taste it. Okay. It's definitely very corny. <laughs> oh, the flavor. It's probably not even going to make sense. How I'm going to um, it tastes like a sweet Cheeto. Um, it's not bad. Um, like the other ones in my last video, it has like a slight cream soda flavor. It's very subtle. Um, in the weirdest way, this literally does just taste like corn. I thought about just doing all the kind of medium scary ones first, but I thought that also wouldn't be any fun. Um, so next we're gonna try buffalo wings. It says it's artificially flavored. Who'd have thunk it? I'm opening all these sodas courtesy of my sexy lady bottle opener. I love her. I've had her for so so long. I got her at Gulf Shores like a million years ago. As always, I'm going to be sniffing each of these before I taste them. Um, I don't know how many people do this, but let me know if you're like me. I literally sniff everything. Um, even if I know the cup is clean or the plate or the food just got served to me, I'm gonna sniff it. I don't know why. Um, I kind of just do it out of habit at this point, so. This one, it has a very faint smell. Like it's 
not stinky um, It's not scaring me as bad as I was anticipating Oh fuck it, I'm just gonna drink it Oh, yeah Oh Ew Yeah, ugh What the, ugh I've got a lot of feelings right now Ooh, why did they do that? Oh, okay. Oh, it's pretty terrible. The spiciness isn't even the problem. You know, I've had spicy cocktails. I even had the hot Cheeto Mountain Dew just because of who I am as a person. But this one, <laughs> it has a chicken taste <laughs> like chicken like canned chicken um the burning that you get at the end is really just like the cherry on top of a really shitty sundae coming in a little late for my pumpkin spice baddies we have pumpkin pie soda why not? This one doesn't seem too bad. Pumpkin spice, pumpkin pie flavored things tend to be pretty decent until they're not. I think it could lend itself okay to a soda. The only thing I've had before that was pumpkin pie flavored, um, and I hated it, um, was Oreos. Those were really bad. <laughs> so let's hope that this is a little bit better. It actually smells pretty good. Um, very pumpkin spice forward. It smells like a really good air freshener. Let's taste it. Hmm. It's very fragrant. It's heavy on the pumpkin like spice. It's it's not bad. I wouldn't uh, seek it out. I would not buy it again, but it's not disgusting. Um, it really does taste like pumpkin pie. So, I mean, if that's your thing, you would absolutely love this. Honestly, I was wanting to leave this one for last because I'm dreading it. Um, but I'm also curious. I'm sure you are too. So we're gonna bust out the ranch dressing soda. <sighs> Has a nice, you know, cloudy-ish clear color. Um, I do not have good expectations for this. I do not foresee me liking it. Um, frankly, I'm scared for my life, but let's open it up and try it. Now, don't get me wrong, I love ranch dressing. Um, who doesn't love ranch dressing? But do I want it in a soda? Hell no. We're gonna sniff it. I hope it's not ranchy. Ugh. Oh no. Oh, that's bad. It's bad. It smells cheesy. It smells chalky. Oh my god. If you were to tell me that this is blue cheese soda, I would believe you. I think that I need to like meditate and pray to any god that will listen before I try this. I'm really trying to hype myself up. Drink it. I'm just not gonna 
think about it. Let's go. Oh my god. Mm. No. Oh my god. Why would they do that? You no, know, I've said in a video before that I don't believe in hell. I've changed my mind. It's here, you guys. It's hell in a bottle. What the fuck is this? I get it's a novelty item, and I don't know if they could have even made it good. It definitely has a ranch profile, but it just tastes like like funk. I can't like like moldy. <sighs> it's truly baffling. I absolutely and utterly hate this now that I've gotten the ranch flavor out the way I only have two left but you know bacon and peanut butter and jelly I'm not even intimidated anymore because I've went through the worst these are nothing to me now let's do we'll do bacon just showing you the bottle. Here's Luster. What a maniac. Our lovely bacon soda. Have sort of a funny, interesting story about bacon. My mother, when she was very young, she told me that she used to sneak eat raw bacon. I don't know how she's still kicking today. She's also told me that um, on her side of the family, we have 70% more Neanderthal DNA than the average person. So my guess is that has something to do with that. Let's sniff the baking soda. Oh my Jesus, no. I am picking up like notes of bacon, but I am also picking up like booty flakes as well. It just smells, it smells awful. Let's taste it. I need a moment. I know exactly what this tastes like. It tastes like really artificial bacon. It honestly tastes like a smell. Um, you ever smell those bacon strips for dogs? That smell is this taste. I cannot describe it any other way. This one in the ranch and the buffalo wing sauce are going straight down the sink. Last and sort of least, we have peanut butter and jelly soda. I'm not really scared of this. Sweet flavored sodas, you know, they don't intimidate me now that I'm a soda connoisseur. The color, I wouldn't expect this color. Um, let's go ahead and open it up. This one scent is very mild. It has like a very artificial bakery smell. It almost smells like, it smells like a Twinkie. Okay. Bottoms up. Yeah. Um, this one is very, oddly enough, it's bland. It tastes really fake, artificial. To me, this just tastes like a stomach ache. I don't know, it's 
not strong on the peanut butter taste. It's not strong on the jelly. I don't really know what they did with this one, but it's a total mess. So that wraps up this video, you guys. Usually I'm never in a rush or ready to end a video, but this one was the exception. These sodas were absolutely terrible. But I hope that you enjoy watching me try them. Hopefully it entertained you, maybe gave you some tingles. I love you all so, so much, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!